I became very selective in what I worked on, that I knew being a role model meant everything to mm. me. I'm a big sister. I'm the oldest of my cousins. And being on a show where I knew kids were watching meant that I had a position in their lives, that I was someone that they could look up to. And so that's been really powerful. And because mm. I find myself wanting to help so much along the way and wanting to get to a certain place so that I could help more people mm. that I don't celebrate the small victories in the timeline, you know, like I yeah. just kind of know that there's so many people and so many animals and so many resources in the planet. I mean, you could go down forever, <laughs> right? Like you can think about, and I think for me, um, one of the things that is always in the back of my head is my family and the people that sort of suffer with things in my family. Um, but I want to help people before mm -hmm. they get to a place where it's harder to, to make a change. Um, so I've really tried to make that a big goal of mine. Yes, I'm, I'm invested in these companies and I like to call them conscious companies because they're not purely just for the monetary investment. They're there because I see a bigger picture. So companies like Outstanding Foods, I know that they have a direct effect in the lives of animals, mm -hmm. not to mention the health and the other trickle effects that come along with it. But, um, companies like Sugar Taco. Yeah. I believe in making vegan food, healthy, organic, vegan food that tastes delicious, accessible at a good price point, because that's an argument of people's, you know, they have this idea that veganism is, is every too expensive. It's not mm -hmm. attainable. It's not realistic, um, for a normal person's lifestyle. That isn't what I want to scratch right off the bat. That is so far from the truth. And I feel like just not to go down another rabbit hole, but do it <laughs> spending money on, what you put into your body, much like spending the time and, and whatever investment you make to work out or health, wellness, whatever that means, meditating, whatever that investment you're making has such a huge impact in the big picture of your life. A lot of people spend all this money on healthcare, on pills, on things to make this instant fix in mm -hmm. their lives. When, if you just do a little bit of the work along the way, and you're really being mindful of how you create you as a whole and what you do to help yourself thrive, that is a non-factor. Mm -hmm. I don't know, knock on wood, but I don't know the last time I've seen a doctor spent money at a pharmacist, all of the above. Never. I don't even take an Advil, Tylenol, nothing. Wow. But I really do believe that a lot of that is because I make conscious efforts to drink water, to work out, to love myself, to meditate, to do something that makes me feel whole and balanced. <laughs>